if you want to see more topics then check the playlist section of this channel also if you want to buy my notes then check the link in the description below in this video we will see an example on sinusoidal steady state analysis question using nodal analysis find v1 and v2 in the circuit of figure here for this circuit we have to find the value of v1 and v2 so let's take the circuit from here and paste it here now here we can see these values are given in time domain format so we will convert this into its equivalent frequency domain format convert time domain time domain to frequency domain now here we can see it is 10 cos 2t 10 cos 2t ampere if we compare this with the standard equation it will be i m cos omega t plus 5 so the value of i m is 10 omega value is omega is equal to 2 radian per second then phi value is 0 so if we convert this into its equivalent phasor domain format it will be i m at an angle phi so i m here this will be an arrow because we are converting from time domain to frequency domain now i m value is 10 at an angle phi value is 0 degree ampere and we also got the value of omega now next 2 ohm resistance so this 2 ohm resistance will remain same in both time domain and frequency domain then the 0 0.2 farad 0 0.2 farad this will be 1 upon j omega c so 1 upon j into omega value is 2 capacitance value is 0 0.2 1 upon j into 2 into 0 0.2 it is minus 2.5 j minus 2.5 j ohm because it is impedance so its unit will be ohm then this 2 henry inductance so 2 henry it will be j omega l so j into omega value is again 2 into inductance value is 2 so it will be 4j 4j ohm then next is 4 ohm so this 4 ohm will remain same in both time domain and frequency domain then this small vx so this small vx will change to capital vx in frequency domain so on left side this is in time domain and on right side these are the values in frequency domain or phasor domain now again let's paste the circuit here now we will change these values so this current source value will change to 10 at an angle 0 degree ampere 10 at an angle 0 degree ampere this resistance value will remain same this vx value will change to capital vx this 0 0.2 farad will change to 0 0.2 farad will change to minus 2.5 j minus 2.5 j then this 2 henry will change to 4 j 4j ohm this 4 ohm will remain same again this small vx will change to capital vx now we got the circuit in frequency domain format or in phasor domain format now let's say this is current this is the current source and let's say this is current i1 this is current i2 
this is current i3 and let's say this is current this is current i4 so these are the currents we are assuming for applying nodal analysis to it in nodal analysis we use kirchhoff's current law now here let's apply kcl at node v1 now at this node if we apply kcl according to kcl summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node now here at this node the entering currents or the entering current is only 10 at an angle 0 degree ampere so 10 at an angle 0 degree is equal to leaving current so here outgoing current is i1 and i2 these are the leaving current so i1 plus i2 now we will write this in voltage form so here this 10 at an angle 0 degree we can write only 10 is equal to i1 now i1 in voltage form this will be v1 minus 0 divided by 2 v1 minus 0 divided by 2 then plus i2 value is v1 minus v2 v1 minus v2 divided by minus 2.5 j v1 minus v2 divided by minus 2.5 j now let's simplify this so it will be 10 is equal to v1 divided by 2 plus v1 divided by minus 2.5 j minus v2 divided by minus 2.5 j v1 by 2 plus v1 by minus 2.5 j minus v2 divided by minus 2.5 j so now if we rewrite this we can take this v1 common so it will be 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon minus 2.5 j then minus v2 in bracket 1 upon minus 2.5 j is equal to 10 so v1 in bracket if we simplify this so it will be 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 point minus 2.5 into j 1 by 2 plus 1 upon minus 2.5 j it is equal to this much 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 0.4 j 0.4 j minus v2 now this will be 1 upon minus 2.5 into j so it is 0 0.4 j 0. Point. we can take this plus here and this minus inside so it will be minus 0 0.4 j minus 0 0.4 j is equal to 10 now let's say this is equation number 1 now next we will apply kcl at node v2 so let's apply kcl at node v2 now here we can see according to kcl summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node here we can see the entering current at this node is i2 and this i4 so i2 plus i4 is equal to leaving current is only i3 now we will write this in voltage form so i2 will be equal to v1 minus v2 divided by minus 2.5 j v1 minus v2 divided by minus 2.5 j then plus i4 so this i4 will be this node voltage that is 3 vx 
थ्री वी एक्स माइनस थ्री वी एक्स माइनस वी टू थ्री वी एक्स माइनस वी टू डिवाइडेड बाय रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यू इज फोर होम इज इक्वल टू आई थ्री वैल्यू नाउ I3 थ्री इज वी टू माइनस जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय फोर जे वी टू माइनस जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय फोर जे सो नाउ वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस सो इट विल बी वी वन डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव जे माइनस वी टू डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव जे देन प्लस थ्री थ्री बाय फोर Now here in place of this v x we can substitute. Here we can see v x is equal to v one. V x is equal to v one. From here. So in place of v x we can substitute v one. Then minus v two divided by four. Now if we take this on left side so it will be minus v two divided by four j. Is equal to zero. Now let's take this v one common. It will be one upon minus two point five j. Then plus three by four. Bracket close. Then plus v two common. Then minus one upon minus two point five j. Then minus one upon four, then minus one upon four j is equal to zero. If we simplify this, so v one is equal to v one in bracket. So it will be one upon minus two point five into j plus three by four. One by minus two point five into j plus three by four. It is equal to zero point seven five plus zero point four j plus v two in bracket minus one upon minus two point five into j then minus. One by four minus one by four into j minus one by four into j. It is equal to minus zero point two five minus zero point one five j is equal to zero minus zero point two five minus zero point one five j is equal to zero. Now this is equation number two. So we got equation number one and equation number two. So solving equation one and two. So let's put this in matrix form. So in matrix form, this will be like this: zero point five. Plus zero point four j. Zero point five plus zero point four j. Then here it will be zero point seven five plus zero point four j. Now again from equation one v two for v two it will be minus zero point Four j minus zero point four j. Then matrix. First we will write for equation two. It will be minus zero point two five minus zero point two five minus zero point one five j. Matrix close here. This will be v one v two. Is equal to 
now again from equation 1 is equal to 10 from equation 2 is equal to 0 now let us solve this and get the value of v1 and v2 so for this we need the value of delta first so for delta we have to take the determinant of this let us copy it from here and get the value of determinant so determinant means it will be like this So this is the determinant we have to multiply this into this minus this into this so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4 j multiplied with minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 j 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4 j into minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 j minus 0 0.75 plus 0.4 j into minus 0 0.4 j minus 0 0.4 j so this is the value of delta if we solve this we get the value of delta 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4 into j multiplied with minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 into j minus 0 0.75 plus 0. 0.4 plus 0 0.4 into j then into minus 0 0.4 into j it is equal to 0 minus 0. 225 minus 0.225 plus 0.125 j so this is the value of delta now we will find the value of delta 1 so to get the value of delta 1 we have to replace this first column by this value 10 and 0 so let's take this and this column will change to 10 and 0 so delta 1 value will be 10 into this 10 multiplied with minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 j minus 0 So 10 multiplied with minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 into j minus 2.5 minus 2.5 then minus 1.5 j this is the value of delta 1 next is delta 2 so to get the value of delta 2 again let's copy this matrix now this time we have to change this column second column and we have to replace this by 10 and 0 10 and 0 so determinant of this will be this into this 0 minus 10 into 0 0.75 plus 0 0.4 j so we can directly solve this so it will be minus 0 point minus 7.5 then again minus 4 j so this is the value of delta 2 now we have to find v1 and v2 this is the value of delta 2 so v1 is equal to delta 1 divided by delta so delta 1 value is this much this is the value of delta 1 divided by delta value is this is the value of delta
if we solve this in calculator we get minus 2 point minus 2.5 minus 1.5 into j minus 2.5 minus 1.5 j divided by minus 0 0.225 plus 0 0.125 into j so this will become 5.66 plus 9.81 j so this is the answer in rectangular form in polar form v1 is equal to shift 23 so it is 11.32 at an angle 60.01 volts this is the value of v1 let's see here we have to find these values in time domain format because here v1 and v2 are in small small letters So first we will find in phasor domain then we will convert this into time domain. So now V2 is equal to delta 2 divided by delta. The value of delta 2 is this. Divided by delta value is this. minus 7.5 minus 4 into j divided by minus 0 0.225 plus 0 0.125 into j it is equal to this much now this is in rectangular form in polar form shift 2 3 it is 33.02 at an angle 57.12 degree volt so this is the answer in again in phasor domain format v1 is equal to 30 not v1 this is v2 v2 is equal to 30 33.02 at an angle 57.12 degree volt so these values are in phasor domain let's convert them into time domain so in time domain small v1 is equal to in time domain first of all v of t is equal to vm cos omega t plus phi so v1 is equal to vm value is 11.32 11.32 3 to cos now the value of omega here we can see the value of omega we already got it is 2 radian per second so for this the omega value will remain same so 2t plus phi value is this is the value of phi 60.01 60.01 degree and its unit will be volt then next is v2 so for v2 it will be 33.02 33.02 cos then omega value is again omega value will remain same 2t plus phi value is 57.12 57.12 volt so this is the value of v2 and this is how we can find the value of voltages in time domain format don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel and thanks for watching